Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup features the Seattle Pilots versus the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. Down for the Pilots today is Jerry Stevenson, whose record is 6-4 with a 3.41 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Gary Ignaziak, whose record is 7-15, with a 4.94 ERA. All right, yesterday's ball game was brutal. Um, it was, I think, probably top five worst computer AI game of the year. I mean, if you had a Brainiac Baseball bingo card, uh, everything that could happen in this game, in a real baseball game, all happened in one game, uh, it, with the exception of a wild pitch. That was the only thing we didn't have. Um, pass balls, box, uh, errors, uh, a pitcher had a double. Um, there was doubles and triples. And there was more triples in this game than any game this year. There were home runs, caught stealing, stolen bait. I mean, there was just like literally everything that could happen did happen. And that really frustrates me. I mean, it's probably my least favorite thing about baseball mogul. The new version comes out March 28th, so what is that? Three weeks from today, I guess, and uh, I, I will buy it, uh, and I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to be good as far as the gameplay goes. I, I, don't, do, I don't use any other of the uh, options where you can um, you know, simulate whole seasons at one time. I've never done that before. I don't know if that works well or not, but I can attest to playing thousands of games um, using the baseball mogul play-by-play uh, -play play mode that we enjoy here and uh, I don't think it works well um, yesterday's version uh, yesterday's game is, is the perfect version of uh, that not working so I'm hoping going forward uh, that when we start our 1984 Detroit Tigers series um, on April 1st that the new version will work out great. So uh, before we get started with today's game, let's do a couple things real quick. First of all, earlier today, I opened up a value pack of 2022 Panini Chronic, uh, I'm sorry, Panini Illusions football. And we pulled six incredible rookie cards in there, including two uh, insert rookie cards, one that was see-through. It was really cool. Um, so uh, check out that. I'll put that video at the end. And then after today's game, once I get it uploaded uh, and uh, out there on social media, I'm going to do the uh, American League East preview for the 1984 Detroit Tigers season replay. So uh, every Monday through the rest of the month, we're going to go ahead and do a 1984 uh, 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 division preview. Today is going to be the American League East. So uh, that's of course, is the, the division the Tigers are in. We're going to look at all the teams and all the lineups and all the rotations and see if we can predict which teams might be uh, contenders for that division title. Okay, let's move on to today's ball game as it loads up here. We've got Jerry Stevenson on the mound. I don't think he had a good game the last time out, but he has become our best pitcher until Brabender comes back. Brabender is uh, nine days away. It'll be eight after today's game, and he is in AAA right now on a rehab assignment. Here, all of our bullpen is available uh, today, which is nice. They did not pitch well yesterday. Every bullpen arm that came in all gave up runs, so not so good. Another left-hander. This is our third in a row. It's Gary Ignaziak. Uh, normally, I would do a deep dive on him because I don't think we've done one yet, uh, but uh, in order to conserve a little bit of time today, we're going to skip that. Here's our lineup. We have uh, Jerry May in there, catcher today. And we're going to give um, a break to Lou Pinella, who's listed as tired. I'd love to have him in there. He was tired yesterday, and all he did was hit a double and a home run and hit, have three hits. Uh, but we have to give him a break, so Wayne Comer will get the start today in left field. Let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Seattle Pilots. Betting leadoff, playing second base, is Gary Sutherland. Batting second, playing shortstop, is Freddie Patek. Batting third at first base is Darren Johnson. Batting cleanup in right field is Tommy Agee. Batting fifth in center field is Don Bosch. 
Batting sixth and catching is Jerry May. Batting seventh in left field is Wayne Comer. Batting eighth at third base is Don Kessinger. And batting ninth is the pitcher Jerry Stevenson. Okay, let's take a look here at Gary Ignaziak. He's a 19-year-old rookie in the rotation, uh, making his 27th start, 7-15 with a 4.94 ERA. Whoa, more walks than strikeouts. That's never good. Opponents are betting 244 against him. He's got five complete games. His fastball uh, tops out at 93 miles an hour. Pretty solid. Oh, wow, it's rated at 96 with an 83 change, and he's a 92 overall rating, and he peaks at 98. That is insane. This is a pitcher who I believe only pitched in one or two games in relief for the Tigers and never played ever again. He has a younger brother, Mike Ignaziak. I know that's off, off the top of my head, who played for the Brew Crew um, in real life. But, um, yeah, that's amazing. All I could find was a black and white photo of Gary Ignaziak. Because he only played in a couple of ball games. This was from the uh, Detroit News uh, newspaper every year when they would have um, their uh, uh, photos of the players who were uh, going to make the roster. That's crazy. Okay, here we go. Uh, here's the defense for the Tigers. Terrible on the infield, just like yesterday. And then, of course, left field is uh, Gates Brown, not a good defender. Um well, maybe we could take advantage of that today. We could not yesterday. We've got Gary Sutherland leading off versus Gary Ignaziak. Sutherland, ground ball to second. Sutherland was 0 for 5 in yesterday's ball game. Normally hits lefties really well. There's one down. Here's Freddie Patek. Patek had a stolen base yesterday. Hits a fly ball to left. Gates Brown making the catch. Two outs and Darren Johnson up. We moved him up to the third spot today since Mc, uh, McNerton's not in there. And Johnson crushes it to center. Get down. It's going to be caught by Ron Woods in center field. So we go to the bottom of the first inning. Let's take a look at the Tigers lineup rundown. Batting leadoff playing second base is Ike Brown. Batting second and left field is Gates Brown. Batting third at first base is John Ellis. Batting cleanup and catching is Tim Hosley. Batting fifth in right field is Jim Northrup. Batting sixth in center field is Ron Woods. Batting seventh at shortstop is Tom Tresh. Batting eighth at third base is Don Wirt. And batting ninth is the pitcher Ignaziak. Let's take a look at Jerry Stevenson. He's making his 15th start. He's 6-4 with a 3.41 ERA. 110 strikeouts in 118 and two-thirds in his pitch. That's awesome. Um, his opponents are betting 2.12 against him. No complete games. He would be capable of doing a complete game if we could get him that far. Fastball tops out at 93 miles an hour. He's got a screwball for his best pitch. It's rated an 84. And the fastball is right there at league average. Overall at 82. The 25-year-old righty uh, goes to arbitration at the end of the year. We're looking at his log. He gave up three runs. They were all unearned. And he took the loss against California. Um, against Detroit, he's made one start. And he took the loss, only going four innings giving up four runs on seven hits with a home run in there. So not great from Jerry Stevenson. Um, all right, let's take a look at our defense. Mostly solid. We got May behind the plate. Very good defensively. First and second with uh, Johnson and Sutherland are just a tick below league average. So not, the, not a bad defense today. Okay, Ike Brown leading off. Versus Jerry Stevenson. Full count. Gets a hold of it. And hits a ground ball to Sutherland for out number one. One down. Next man up is Gates Brown. Left-hander has a 1-2 count. 
Hits a high fly ball to right field. AG waiting for it. Making the catch. Two quick outs for Stevenson as John Ellis, the first baseman, steps up. And he walks him. Of course, can't get a 1-2-3 inning. Got to walk someone. Will he come back with a strikeout versus Hosley? No. For some reason, the first baseman, who's also a catcher, with a 68 rating, tries to steal second. And May guns him down. That's got to be a missed hit and run. Although, why would you be hitting and running with two outs? I don't know. Don't know. All right. So we go to the top of the second inning. Here's Gary Ignaziak facing Tommy Ag. Ag in the cleanup role today, doing what he does best, striking out. First K for Ignaziak. One out. Don Bosch up next. Fly ball to left center field. We did manage to get a double digit hits yesterday. But we are not clutch, and we are not coming around on these mediocre pitchers. Jerry May base hit in the center field. He's batting 480 versus lefties in limited duty. So I guess we've come to expect him to get hits versus left-handers. Runner on first. Here's Wayne Comer getting a spot start today. Full count to Comer. I think that's a comebacker to the pitcher. And he goes to first with it. Pilots get the first hit of the game. We go to the bottom of the second. Tim Hosley leading off. Hosley, 2-2 two -two count. Hits a fly ball into left center field. Plays made by the left fielder. Uh, that's Comer today. One out. Here's Jim Northrup. He's sitting on 12 home runs. Popping it up on the infield. Who's going to call it? It's the shortstop, Patek, making the catch. Two quick outs. Here's Ron Woods. Ron Woods. Another walk. Jesus. This game, man. Stevenson, who... I guess he has been walking more lately, but clearly a strikeout pitcher against all these schlubs. Does not have a strikeout yet. Here's Tom Tresh, an 091 hitter versus righties, playing uh, shortstop. Gets a base hit to center. First and third, two down. Don Wirt, 1 1. Ground ball to third. And he makes the play. I really felt like there was going to be an error there. That's why I was kind of holding my breath. We go to the top of the third inning. Don Kessinger leading off. Kessinger's average up to 204. That's kind of a miracle. He is only batting 190 versus lefties. Less than two weeks, we'll have Rollins back. I'm not sure if that's an upgrade or not, the way Kessinger has been hitting. There's a ground out to second. Here's Jerry Stevenson. Marty Patton had a double yesterday. He's got two doubles. Only three hits, and there's a double for Stevenson down the right field line. Guy, you know, like, we got to take whatever we can get, but it's just so stupid, so stupid that this happens. That is his first career extra base hit, and uh, he's two for 25 this year. I don't know, man. We'll take it. Okay. So we have a runner in scoring position with Gary Sutherland up. Sutherland over three, two walks against Ignaziak, and he walks again. That's something that Sutherland does not do much. Uh, but he's got twice as many walks as strikeouts. That is incredible. And this guy's got a 69 rating. It's terrible rating, but... Oops. But uh, yet he seems to... Managed to get on base. So it's first and second, one down. Um, I hope that Patek can stay out of a double play here. A wild pitch. Oh, my gosh. A double for the pitcher, a walk, and a wild pitch. We're going to have 
the pitcher go on contact. This is a, this would never happen in real life, but um, I don't know. We'll see what happens here. One one count. And Patek fly ball to left field. There's no way he's going to score on that. Forty percent chance. I mean, we can't do it. We just can't do it. You don't send the pitcher barreling into the catcher in 1969. We got to hope that Darren Johnson can get it done. Here we go. Oh, one count. Nope. God bless it. That's so stupid. Is Jennifer the bartender? We go to the bottom of the third inning. Here we go. Gary Ignaziak leading off. He's batting 113. Will he get a double of his own? One, two count. Finally, Stevenson gets a strikeout. That's only his first K of the day. One down. Here is Ike Brown. Oh, he's feeling himself now. Back-to-back -back Ks. Two down. And he's going to have to get the... Feisty Gator Brown. Yeah, base hit. Uh, so, in all three innings, with two outs, a base runner's got on. Uh, I mean, it's so stupid. I mean, it's obviously programming. It's so obvious. Here's John Ellis, first pitch, something happening. Brown steals. So, Gates Brown's about to score, right? The two out base hit is the indicator. That is his fifth stolen base of the year, uh, despite having some pretty good speed. But, you know, he's like a career pinch hitter, Gates Brown. One of the best of all time. And uh, not really a stolen base guy. I mean, we got to take our lumps. That's what's going to happen here. There's nothing we can do to stop it. Yep. Oh, no, ground ball to third. Error? No. Yeah. All right. We'll take it. We'll get out of the jam. Go to the top of the fourth inning. Let's get something going here against this nobody 19-year-old. It's like we crushed the Baltimore pitchers. And then we can't get a hit off of these schlubs. I mean, I kind of like that about the game. I, I complain. I complain to complain sometimes. But it's irritating this guy has got a 7-15 and 15 record and a 5 ERA, and he's Cy Young against us. Here's Jerry May. He's got one of the two hits. A 1-2-3 inning. Bottom of the fourth. See, Stevenson hanging in there. Not looking good today, though. 61 pitches through three. Here's Tim Hosley. Striking him out. So he struck out three of the last four batters. Maybe he's starting to come around here. It's got to be a walk coming sooner or later. Yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah, because that's the why would the game operate properly? So we've walked three, struck out three. I don't think Northrop's going to be going. I also don't think Ron Woods would bunt, but we're going to pull third base in. He's a good bunter. One, two count. And a ground ball right to the guy that's pulled in. No, of course not a double play. Or the force at second. You got to have the guy come into position. All right. Tom Treshup. This guy can't hit. But Northrop got the second for a reason. Let's find out what that reason is. A wild pitch. A pass ball. One zero count. And a comebacker to Stevenson. And the error. He throws it away. The run scores. It was going to happen one way or another. Not a damn thing you can do about it. I mean, this is the fourth inning, and we've had everything already. An error to score the go-ahead run. A, a pass ball, a wild pitch. Um, ridiculous walks, a double from a pitcher. 
I mean, someone needs to tell the maker of this game that not everything happens in every ball game. Uh, you know, if I wanted this kind of bullshit, I would get like MLB The Show, where you hit 40 home runs a game. Uh, okay, so Comer walks for the second time. We'll hit and run with Kessinger. One two count. Ground ball to third. That'll get Comer over. Or you might want to call it a comb over. Uh, I would know something about. I always thought I'd look good with a comb over. Um, all right, uh, Jerry Stevenson. I mean, I mean, there's no reason to keep him in the ball game. Um, we're already losing. Or we're going to lose. So the only chance we have is to take him out and try to get someone who might be able to drive this run in. I know he's got a base hit, but that's like a one in a million thing. I guess we could try to lay down a bunt and get him to third in case we get a balk and can score a run. Let's do it. There's a bunt back to the pitcher. Comer. Oh, you fuck! I can't believe that! Sorry about the, the language, the salty language. But you have to feel for me. God bless it. Yep. So, yeah, this game is over. There's no way we can win this ball game. I guess we'll let um, Stevenson try to get five innings. He hasn't given up or earned a run. Will he strike out Ignaziak again? No, of course not. Fly ball to center. There's one out. Everything is a two-out rally. No, yeah, no, he makes his fourth walk. So much like Marty Patton yesterday, I feel like Jerry Stevenson has reached the end of his innings. Um, I mean, we've got nobody else to go with here. Maybe when we get to September, we can do, um, you know, we can call up uh, Dick Ruthven and uh, Dennis Leonard. They're 18 or 19-year-olds, but if they could... I mean, if Ignaziak could come in and pitch like this, you know, might not give him a shot at a September call-up. He strikes out the next two batters. The stupidest game on the planet. one nothing. Tigers, top of the sixth. Ignaziak is f just firing missiles right now. Hey, what do you know? We got a base hit through the infield with this below average scrubs. Um... What's the stolen base percentage? It's too low. We can't hit and run with Johnson. I don't even know if we can hit with Johnson. We'll try it. Wild pitch. So we've got a wild pitch now. Oh no, we already did. We had a wild pitch and a pass ball and an error. We don't have a balk yet. 1-0 count for Johnson. And what does he do? He hits it to third. So Patek can advance. Let's just get it over with. Yep, another ground ball to third. And Bosch strikes out. Yep. So everything you might expect from this shitty ball game. The ratings, they don't matter. And the ratings have no impact on the game at all. There's a base hit in front of Bosch. Is that another one? No, it's too high. Two down. Tom Tresh. Uh, yeah, the, the ratings have absolutely nothing to do with the gameplay. I mean, we had Lou Pinella in the ball game yesterday who was tired and he had three hits including two extra base hits. Like, what's the point? Um, wow, they're pulling the infield in. That's kind of smart, actually. S-M-R-T, smart. Um, all right. It doesn't matter. Fly ball to the left.
And it's a double play. By a 72 rated left fielder playing shortstop. All right, Stevenson's got to come out. He's also the first batter next inning, so this... I don't know. It's all right, I guess. Um, all right, here's Skippy Lockwood. Fan favorite. We don't need to go into it. Yeah, they're just teeing off. We have top-notch defenders, and they're getting base hits. Corners in. Unbelievable. This game blows in so many ways. I mean, if, like, honestly, if the 2023 version isn't playable, like, this is not playable. Um, if the 2023 version is not playable, I'm done with this. It's just not worth my time. I'll have to find some other... I don't know. There's no other game out there on the market that you can do season to season like we do here. But, um, I don't know. Maybe we just do hockey. And we're going to have another shutout. I mean, we can't get a ground ball through the infield. in John Morris. We've got a lefty, a righty, and then a switch hitter. And John Morris has been pretty good against right-handers. Can't get left-handers out, though, as uh, Northrop gets a base hit. This game is so horrible. I mean, it's unimaginable how bad this game is. And there's nothing you can do about it. There's no baseball strategy that you can implore. That'll get the third run in. Like, if the computer AI, like, pre-calculates before the game, like, this final score will be three to nothing, and this is the only way that you get to it, like, that's just... Like, horrible programming. And we're going to be nine games over 500 at the end of this game, and yet our run differential will be in the negative. <laughs> I mean, how stupid is that? And we're... It's going to be in the negative, right? And we've thrown 15 shutouts. That's how horrible this game is. Are they going to give us a gimme run? We're going to take out Comer here. Uh, I mean, Lou Pinell is tired, so we cannot bring him in. But we'll bring in McNerty. He's got some power. Maybe he can run into one here. Or maybe it'll be a catcher double play. One-two count. Yep, that's the way to end the ball game. Mercifully, it's over. Another shutout. That's the eighth against us. We've participated in 23 shutouts through, what is that, 115 games? What percentage of the games are shutouts? 30%? I mean, that is insane. This is unbelievable. Um, let's go ahead and get through this because we got the Tigers coming up. Um, all right, so yeah, another loss. I mean, it, we're done. Um, let's take a look at Ledley News. What am I doing here? Um, the win over New York puts Cleveland in the lead. Cleveland's Horacio Pena performed in the clutch. Oh, wait, Cleveland's in first place? Ah, this game is messed up so bad. Let's go back and look at the standings here. 
Yeah. This is because, this is why this game, another reason why this game sucks. This, let's get the right light up. Okay. This is the best team in baseball. They traded for Fregosi, uh, Santo, Stargell, and Joe Torre. And they can't even get Joe Torre betting 324 into the ballgame or the best third baseman in the history of baseball. They can't get him into the game either. But they got somebody named Jim Campbell, who is so anonymous, he doesn't even have a photograph. After they traded Boog Powell. Unbelievable. Okay, back to the headline news. Uh, yep, and they won. And transactions. What do we got here? Um, I can't remember where we left off. Um, so I'm guessing it was, yeah, okay, so less Roar of the Royals is going to miss a month after making 28 starts. The what, I, I mean, <laughs> Ignaziak, who had a 494 ERA, just pitched a shutout against us. The guy pitched two games in the major leagues in real life. Danny Cater is out for 27 days, uh, which is tough on Oakland. And uh, Steve Keeley, a reliever for the Angels in AAA, a single A, I guess, is out for the month. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. What a piece of crap this game is. All right, um, so we lost two in a row. We lost. We went two. You know, we went two and two uh, in Detroit. Um, I guess that's the way it goes. <laughs> I mean. Unbelievable. The pitcher was the only player on the team to get an extra base hit versus a guy who pitched a shutout to lower his ERA to 470. And our both of our relievers gave up a run. All the relievers yesterday gave up a run as well. Unbelievable. Nobody gets player of the game today. Okay, that's going to do it. We're going to come back a little bit later on today. Uh, here's the video from earlier. Um, of the uh, 2022 Panini Illusions football, which is pretty sweet. And then we're going to come back later today with the uh, Detroit Tigers American League East preview. That I'm looking forward to. So until then, everyone, have a great day.